He looks like a guy who could choke. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Ladies and hashtag me too catalysts, you pieces of fucking shit. Welcome to a new episode of Tara Reads Your Fucking Comments. It's been a while. I'm so excited. I think this is my first one in Vegas. Yeah, it's definitely my first one in Vegas. We are in a hat with a hood over the top, responding to the most ridiculous comments I could find. I've been compiling a bunch of them. I actually have enough for another video after this one, but that will have to wait a little bit. I am so happy, you guys. I just wanna say thank you so much to all the people who have been pushing me to make this video. This is my favorite series, and it's nice to hear that even though the last few didn't get that many views, there are a lot of you who enjoy it. And while I did say it's one of my favorite series, is is is, I do wanna reiterate that it's my least favorite to edit, and it takes fucking hours, and by hours, I don't mean one or two. I mean six to eight. So yeah, I'm hoping to get this up tomorrow, Wednesday. If not, maybe it's Thursday. Come dumbster. I think he's calling me a cum dumpster and calling me dumb at the same time. Or it's just super ironic he doesn't know how to spell dumpster. Okay, so this incredibly insecure woman says, I'm so grounded, I'm so optimistic, I'm so rational. You left out conceited as fuck. I'll have you know, Candy, weird. Just add a little D and you'll be weird. And then actually interesting. I actually have a hard time knowing when to concede in a magic match, so I don't know where that allegation has come from. Proof? And not just in this video, in every fucking video slash picture slash moment I've ever seen you. I respond with, I like myself, you should try it. But holy shit, how can one be conceited in a moment? It's like literally if I'm going at 30 or 60 FPS or something, every single millisecond in between, you can see the conceitedness just washing over my face. I personally just think she has a crush on me and she's got an elementary school way of dealing with it. Girl, you look hot, just call me. What a whore, this is why I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> because they're all ghouled digers. Fuck you, bitch, tiny penis. I happen to not be a ghouled diger. By the way, hard R, that's racist. I just happen to be someone who wants a nice, solid page. Just kidding. A giant penis, obviously. Unless the gold I'm digging for is a gold-plated dildo, I'm not that interested in gold or money. Whatever. Eve! Stop scratching my backdrop, you whore! Don't be a gold diver, okay? Come here. Come here, you fucking cunt. I love you. This is her first Tara Reads comments. She doesn't know how to act. Buy some brain, not bra for fake boobs. First of all, if I could buy brains, I would definitely be spending 100% of my money on that. But then people would try to say that all I did was just buy the brains, just like the fake boobs, and therefore not real, therefore not as good. Your suggestion won't even help me win your love and affection. Second of all, ironic. Buy some brain, not bra for fake boobs. Oh man, I miss this series, you guys. Imagine her next to a pig, I mean herself. Oh. Burn! I'm so offended. Oh, sometimes, man. The reason I give credence to these wonderfully intelligent individuals is because their comments make me laugh and kind of make me happier than the nice comments, let's be honest here. The shit show makes me happy. It's impressive how serious these people are. I guess that just goes to show how not conceited I am, right? Eve! Stop it! I'm gonna murder this cat. You guys can hear that too. I'm looking at the fucking monitor thing and it's like making noise. She doesn't care. She does what she wants, like I taught her. Speaking of Eve, I don't like black cats because they are witches disguised as cats. I'm not joking. If Eve was a witch disguised as a cat, I would just love her 10 times more. I don't understand. I don't understand where this prejudice comes from. Your name is Shmaya Goldberg and look at your face. You're clearly a Jew. What if I was like, I don't like Jews. They're all ghouled digers in disguise. Hi Tara, if you don't respond, then fuck you in the ass. Is that a response? Am I not gonna get the ass fucking now? Bitch bloomed, I fuck you ass. Why is everyone so obsessed with fucking my ass? Tara, in tour next video, show the tits. Well, may I present to you the tits. Eve, what are you doing? <laughs> this bitch today, she knows it's a troll video. Oh, she's subscribing again. <gasps> I was talking about how much I wanted this on camera and now she's subscribing again. It's so cute. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash Tara Babcock, I posted the cutest video of her back there just subscribing and unsubscribing to my channel. She must really love my content, don't you? You like that I like you're a, a black woman in, what is it? Magic? Witch in disguise, don't you? What you doing? <laughs> Moving on. Is she do boobs job? All right, here we go. Let's endeavor upon this gem. So anyway, there is this stupid girl that looks annoying to me in school and she's acting all lonely and sitting all by herself to be cool. How is that cool? She knows, she knows 
I know she knows. Evelyn! And gives me the glare. The teacher handed us some paper that we would read, and an idiot who sat close to me said to hand the annoying brat the paper. So I handed her the paper and she gave me a smile and a thank you? This girl sounds like a nice girl who's like legitimately lonely. What is he on about? This is not high school anymore. It's not? What it school? What did you just knock down? Fucking Eve. And besides, all I did was hand you some paper. It's not like I went to China to bring you that paper World of Warcraft. <laughs> so weird that there, space, space, are some immature girls out there at the age of 20 plus. First of all, so you're in college and you fucking write this poorly and you have the social skills of like a turtle with Down syndrome. Oh my God. Anyway, the moral of the story is stop being fake and act as a mature adult. Okay, so this is literally the story as I understand it. There was a girl who looks annoying to him because she sits alone and is lonely. So one day he hands her a paper, a gesture that's not that big of a deal, but she still happens to say thank you. He flies off the handle in a murderous fucking rage and tells her to man up because in school when you're 20, plus you should stop being nice to people I don't fucking know imagine if this was turned around like this person would have gotten a rape charge or something don't get a boyfriend because they are just gonna fuck you and use you to shit and crap you'll just get hurt to shit and crap I'm pretty sure every guy I've ever been with has that handled on his own I don't know about you guys but god this is better than I thought it would be another lovely Lovely installment of what the fuck is this person talking about? Would you fuck a hole in a tree, horny hiker? Would you fuck the exhaust of a car, horny driver slash car lover? All the while, all of these exclamation points and question marks I cannot express through my vocalization of this because too much. Would you fuck the mailbox, horny paper boy? Would you fuck a mouse hole, horny cat man? Would you fuck a pizza calzone, horny hungry for sex and pizza man? Would you fuck the shift knob of a car, kinda horny? That's what you do when you're kinda horny. Got it, got it. Would you fuck a doorknob? Would you, what, what, what is that one called? But we're not getting any more fucking funny names to these? What? Would you fuck a bedpost knob large size? Would you fuck a cucumber? Well, a lot of people would say yes to that question, you know what I'm saying? Would you fuck a banana? Tropical fruit fucker. That sounds racist for some reason. Would you fuck an XXL carrot? Veganist fucker. Would you fuck a pot of peanut butter? A pot of peanut butter. Okay, and here's where it gets interesting. This is the same post, by the way, we haven't moved on. Would you order dildos and the robo suck and the female condom and the rubber fist and the G-spot stimulator and the large double dick and the XXL butt plug and the butt diamond plug and the butt plug balls on a wire, the glass ass dildo with balls and the condom with round shaped things on it to get an orgasm more quick space space and cock rings and Viagra and whatever is needed to turn you on. Golden dildo, vibrating dildo, shitting, pissing, fisting, fucking enema, squirting milk out of the ass, squirting in a man's face, red ball of mouth, whip, bondage stuff, spanking, dripping, candles, pooping, complete arm in ass, all the way to the armpit, fucking around, threesomes, orgy, group sex, double penetration, triple angle, four dicks and one pussy, edible underwear, leather, sex cloths, rubber, latex, sexy clothing, etc, etc, etc. Huge farts from the hole in which you stick your cock, blech, licking, penis, pussy. The fuck? <clears throat> Moving on. Fuck you ugly shit looking whore and all of your worthless spectators with shit and meaningless life spending your time masturbating on a fucking plastic dumb doll. So I'm getting a theme here. This is like the shit themed Tara Reads comments. I literally need to make this like a bi-weekly fucking video because this is just amazing. Also my spectators love you guys. I don't think you're a shit and meaningless life spending your time masturbating on a plastic doll at all. Tara, is the fact that you went to college and high school at the same time the reason you lost your virginity at a young age? If he knows I lost my virginity at a young age, he knows at which age, which was 12. In no way was I in either high school or college during that time. Also, in no way does anyone in high school need the help of also going to college to have a wide enough range of pussy or penis to get laid at that time. I think that's a pretty normal time to get laid in high school, when you're ready, of course. I know to a lot of you that comment might have seemed innocuous, but it's like one of those just word vomit, I got an idea and I didn't think it through at all, so I posted a comment kind of comments. You, Anna, be my girlfriend. I love your boobs. I wanna see do the sex with you. You look like a big titty Khaleesi today. Aw, thank you. Except her face is a bit prettier. Two thumbs up for honesty. Not to toot my own anus with shit coming out of it. Fuck plastic doll. I like my face better. But I'm biased. Let me grab my phone.
Shout out to the 30th commenter who's also the 31st and the 33rd commenter. Also shout out to Son Goku who likes my work. I love you Goku, but Vegeta's face just a little bit prettier. Loving that widow's peak, you know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> he looks like a guy who could choke. Tara, I want to taste your hairy pussy! I haven't had a hairy pussy since I started developing hair, in which case it was still a slightly only fuzzy pussy. But, if you follow my Patreon in the $50 tier, you might have seen the closest to hairy pussy that I get. Check out my Patreon if you want, of course. You are boring, expect your tits. I do expect them. In fact, if I ever did look down or put my hands here and there were no tits, I would be quite frightened. Also, I think I'm pretty entertaining. I think you will like www.blacked.com. I did a bad job there. I almost like snorted in the middle. I was trying to be sexy, okay? But I want to point out that although it does seem like good advice, this comment was posted on a video about blacked.com with a blacked.com thumbnail and at least three minutes of me ranting about how good blacked.com is. The only way I can read this comment is in this voice. One second. I don't care about this smasher pass, but please don't make jokes about the Holocaust. I am Jewish and when you said whip a few Jewish boys. I'm trying to do like the Cousin Kyle fucking accent. I hate Cousin Kyle. Oh my god. I'm big. Oh, I hate this kid so much, you guys. Let's fucking wreck him. I was extremely offended. Still love you, just please don't make jokes like that. <laughs> you are a Jewish boy. I would whip. And we would end our session with no sexual gratification on your end because obviously I only have one Jewish king and his name is Ben Shapiro. I hate hoes like this that have 300k subs, but niggas like Drew News, Vok Lamborghini, Bib, Bob Gimlin, and other talented YouTubers have less than 12k. Their names are awful, they should probably rebrand also. I have 300k subscribers for a reason. Maybe they should just work on their game. Please, I'd really like to smell your farts in those nice gray leggings, especially if you do protein shake farts. <laughs> Hopefully black leggings will do. <laughs> that was totally fake, by the way. I promise. <laughs> See, totally wasn't my asshole. Flatulating, vibrating air from my rectum. Six inch, 14, who wants it? Kevin Spacey, and hopefully no one else but another 14 year old. You still not attractive, you look so fucking fake and disgusting. Well, one of my favorite things to do is be disgusting, so I appreciate that. Also, fake look, super real personality. That's my motto. What's on your right shoulder? I got a tetanus shot recently, the band-aid gave me AIDS. Band-aids. So good. Slut whore bitch talking about big penis? They're not important. Only 4.5 inches needed, slut bitch. And don't say my penis small, bitch. 3.4 ain't small, bitch. Suck my cock. <coughs> I'm not gagging at the thought of your cock that you just admitted is small. Because you couldn't make anyone gag on that tiny cock. It's so funny how he says that 4.5 inches is needed and then admits that his cock is only 3.4 inches. By your own definition and admission, you do not have what is needed to please a woman. What are you mad about? Just fucking admit you have a small cock and then buy a nice penis extender from adamandeve.com. You can use the promo code Tara to get 50% off almost one item and free shipping in the US and now in Canada. Information in the description. Any chance you could try not giving the mic a fucking blowjob every time you open your mouth? Sounds like a crude, angry cat caught in a distortion chamber. Oh shit, look! It's 30th, 31st, and 33rd commenter becoming 50th and 51st commenter! Congratulations, green MC boss. You are now the most prolific commenter. Your makeup doesn't cover how old you look. Ugly 49 year old bitch. Damn, you fucking guessed my age to a T. I guess I should just stop wearing makeup now. I've been revealed. Oh, you are a whore and you should feel bad and all the bad things should happen to you. Did I mention you're a gross whore? Fucking strange cocks won't make up for your insecurities and subconscious desires to be loved and wanted. He's right, all of the strange cocks I'm fucking. I should stop fucking these abnormal cocks and go back to the normal cocks. And just admit to myself that my subconscious wants me to be loved and wanted 
And that's the only reason strange cocks turn me on. Not even strange cocks, strange space space cocks. Strange space cocks, that's right. And then again from the same man, of course. You're a whore and should feel bad, and all the bad things should happen to you. I think the second post was a bit more succinct. You didn't have to add in all the pseudo psychoanalyzation. It's like, I like you're a whore and should feel bad, and all the bad things should happen to you, to be honest. If I were going to choose a random insult to hurl at someone I don't know on the internet, does guy licking girls' asshole is gross? Fuck you, 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 Nazi. Fuck you, 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 Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these should I should I leave in the video? I don't even know. This really does epitomize the left and their inability to come up with an actual argument. So I'm gonna see it as fuck you, you, you Nazi. I have nothing else to say, so I'm just gonna call you like the worst thing I can think of without being racist. <laughs> Do you like black guys? Do you like black guys? Do you like black guys? One. So Bob, open Vagina. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video and subscribe if you did. Please do like the video because it lets me know whether or not you want this series to continue. I love doing this series, but a lot of people seem to not want to watch it or don't find it interesting unless there's like a super clickbait title, as opposed to other series is 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 where I'm like at a minimum of 10k even if the title's not that interesting. So please do let me know. Vote with your voice here and let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you got a laugh, and I hope overall it teaches you that the shit that people say on the internet is is of no consequence to you in reality and you should just let that shit roll off of you like if you were just dressed in latex and there was a drop of water that just got on your arm and just trickled down then evaporated and became not but molecular nonsense have fun guys i'll see you in the next video protein farts